After using both Hostinger and Namecheap, Hostinger emerges as the clear winner. Hostinger provides fast loading speeds and its support team is knowledgeable and quick to respond. It also has unique features like instantly boosting performance during high traffic. On the other side, Namecheap has good live chat support and a user-friendly interface. But its loading speed is average and its website builder is basic. It also lacks an official plugin for WordPress migration. If you want to support my work at no extra cost to you, use my Hostinger or Namecheap affiliate link from the description below. Keep watching for more details about these two web hosting providers. In my experience and that of many others who have used Hostinger, fast loading is a noticeable and consistent feature. Despite being in the sector of affordable hosting, Hostinger maintains quick loading times. As demonstrated, my website on Hostinger loads quickly. Installing WordPress in Hostinger is simple. All you have to do is go to Auto Installer under Website, click on Select under WordPress, fill in your website credentials, click Next, then Install. There you have it, your fresh WordPress is ready to customize depending on your needs. To keep a copy of your work, Hostinger automatically creates weekly backups that you can download or restore from. When it comes to managing backups, Hostinger makes the process simpler compared to some competitors. If your website on Hostinger experiences a sudden surge in visitors, you don't have to upgrade your hosting plan. Hostinger provides a convenient solution. You can instantly increase your premium web hosting plan resources for 24 hours for free with just a click of a button. Hostinger allows you to create up to 100 email accounts, providing you with the means to look professional and be easily reachable by others. The process is straightforward, and once you finish setting up your email account, you can link your inbox to Gmail for convenient communication. Customer support is top-notch with Hostinger. The live chat support is available 24-7 and is quick to connect, providing great assistance. The quality of support I've received has been consistently excellent. There have been instances where they exceeded my expectations, such as restoring a database I had agreed to fully remove with the closure of my account. However, for tasks requiring heavy lifting, such as uploading a database that exceeds the size limit, they suggested that I pay one of their team members, which costs sometimes $20 and sometimes $40. With the presence of cPanel, installing WordPress on Namecheap becomes a breeze. Once inside cPanel, navigate to Software and click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Ensure that you use HTTPS to avoid security issues with web browsers. Verify your domain name if you have more than one. Give your blog a name and description. Then choose a username and a strong password and use an email address that you have access to. For language, I will leave it set to English. For plugins, I recommend in checking all if you're unsure about what you need. And for the advanced options, select weekly for automated backups, then hit install. After a moment, your brand new WordPress site is ready to be customized as you want. When I was preparing for this loading speed test, I mentally braced myself to encounter the same sluggishness I experienced when two of my sites were hosted on Namecheap between 2021 and 2022. To my surprise, I was mistaken. After installing the Astra team and one of their blog templates to mimic real life, the loading speed of different pages on my blog was surprisingly quick. I wondered if Namecheap's servers got better 
or if the plugins I was using were the problem. Seeking a second opinion, I checked the speed using tools like GT Metrics, Pace Speed Insights, and Ping Down. As you can see, the website received an A indicating everything looks good. And according to GT Metrics, my home page size was 1.31 MB and it fully loaded in just 1.5 seconds, which is impressive. However, Page Speed Insights and Ping Dom gave me lower grades. Overall, I'm satisfied with the speed. In comparison to other hosts, I found it definitely faster than DreamHost, on pair with Bluehost, if not better, and slightly slower than Hostinger. The first thing I liked about the website builder that Namecheap provides is how easy it is to use and that it does not intimidate first-time users. This website builder has more than 200 templates in total across over 20 categories. To learn more about a template before working on it, you can easily preview it like so. If you like it and you want to work on it, click on Select. With the drag and drop ability, adding different elements like text, pictures or buttons becomes easy. What I didn't like about this website builder is that it is slow to load, making editing and previewing a bit frustrating. Perhaps it's due to my slower internet, however, navigating my WordPress site on the same internet connection was not as slow. The second thing I didn't like was that the templates available for e-commerce are too basic. Don't get me wrong, it's just for the e-commerce templates. For the basic websites like personal pages or simple food business sites where you just want an online presence or to collect emails, the available templates should do the job. Lastly, I found that the loading speed of the websites made with these templates was acceptable, if not particularly fast. I like the system Namecheap uses to keep a copy of your files. It employs a cPanel plugin tool called Auto Backup that takes daily backups extending as far back as a year. Downloading a copy of your backup to your computer is simple. Just click on Get Full Backup As, select Zip, and then click on Get. Restoring can be done in a basic or advanced manner. The basic method overwrites the content with your chosen backup content without losing any new content added since your chosen backup. The advanced option deletes all files and the account is recreated with the data from the backup. It is recommended if your website has been a victim of a malicious attack. Compared to other web hosting providers, I find this system more user-friendly to work with. Others either provide a user-friendly interface but charge extra for automated daily backups, or offer automated daily backups but with complicated management. The support team was very quick to connect through live chat. It felt as if they were waiting for me. Based on my experience with the live chat support, I found it to be responsive and knowledgeable. Compared to other competitors like Bluehost, Hostinger and Dreamhost, in terms of the waiting time to connect, Namecheap live chat was the fastest one to connect. However, during the conversation, I found Hostinger's team to be a little bit quicker to answer my questions. Overall, my experience with the live chat support was good enough to rate it with a thumbs up after finishing my conversation. Creating an email account on Namecheap is easy. Look for email inside cPanel and click on email accounts. Then click on create. Select your domain name, enter the username that you want to use, and a strong password. For the storage space, I prefer it to be unlimited. Also, I want to receive instructions on how to set up a mail client. When you finish, click on Create. 
to see your inbox, click on check email next to your email account. There you have it, your new email account is ready to send and receive emails or connect with Gmail. Migrating your WordPress site from another host to Namecheap isn't straightforward, as Namecheap lacks an official migration plugin similar to those offered by Bluehost or Dreamhost. Considering this, you have a couple of options for migrating your WordPress site to Namecheap. The first option involves doing it yourself using plugins such as Migrate Guru or All-in-One WP Migration. Alternatively, you can opt for the second migration option by reaching out to the customer support team. They can perform a full cPanel migration or just migrating your WordPress site, depending on the level of access you have.